we built this very cool 78 foot wave piercing power boat to attempt the round the world speed record for a power boat. Uh, and probably the best thing about it is we fuel this boat on biodiesel, which is a renewable fuel made from vegetable oils. And we're running this whole campaign as a promotion for renewable fuels. The race is starting from Barbados, March the 6th, 2007, and we're hoping to be finished in around 60, 65 days, something like that. The current record was set by a UK boat called Cable and Wireless in 1998, and it's a record for a powerboat to circumnavigate the globe, and the rules for it, you've got to go through the Suez and Panama Canal, so you're pretty much around the equator, you're not allowed to refuel at sea, so you, but you can come into any port to refuel that. Uh, and the boat's got to meet some safety requirements, so it's pretty pretty simple rules for it. Uh, and the current record's 75 days. Uh, since then, there's been five five other boats have attempted the record, and not one has finished. And it's one of the lessons for us: you've got to finish this race to claim the record. And our boat is is easily fast enough to get the record, but we've got to make sure we get it round in one piece. And that, that's the challenge we're just trying to face now. When we built the boat, we, we, we tried to reduce our environmental impact in lots of areas. And as examples, um, we had all the local skill kids collecting their plastic ice cream containers and we were using those instead of buying new ones. Um, believe it or not, the floor is actually made of hemp. It's the first powerboat in the world that's used hemp in its construction. One of the neat things with biodiesel is you can make it from so many different sources. and vegetable oils, animal fats, fish oils, uh, algae. And to help highlight this fact, I did undergo liposuction. I had the surgeon who donated his time and they got about 100 gram of fat out of my back. It's not like I'm a fat bugger either, like I didn't have much to spare. And then I had a couple of big fat people who donated around 10 pound each. I had 20 pound of fat plus my little wee contribution and I made in gallons, about four gallons of fuel and put it in the boat, but my little wee contribution would have made the boat go about 30 feet only. <laughs> the design is called a tri-hull wave piercer. Tri-hull meaning three hulls, wave piercer meaning it, it goes through waves. And how it does it, the, the bow has what's called minimal reserve buoyancy. Basically means it doesn't float very well on the bow. It's got very little volume. Uh, and then we pump two and a half tonne of fuel in the bow to make it heavy. And when you hit a wave, it doesn't want to ride up like a normal boat. It just goes through the waves. And at times, uh, it's, it's unbelievable. We've had this in some 40 foot waves. We had 40 foot of water on top of, this, on top of the windshield up here. Um, right through the middle of waves and it's an intimidating and brutal experience but it's also impressive to be in a boat that firstly can handle those conditions but secondly can still maintain very good speed in what are you know shocking storm conditions. The race is only a means to an end and I don't give a toss about the record because I get my name in, in the Guinness Book of Records or something, who cares? Um, what the race does though is it gives this boat some meaning. And when I do get the record, and we, we run it on biodiesel, um, it allows the media to follow it, and it allows you to connect with the public and connect with, with people around the globe. And we raised about one and a half million in sponsorship. Mostly, most of it going into the boat in terms of free engines and gearboxes and electronics and things like that. So we've just sort of pieced it together from a whole lot of different sources. No, no big billionaire or big company come in with lots of cash, just little wee um, people and companies have gone and contributed to it. And it still remains a challenge today. I've got to, still got to try and come up with 150 grand over the next three weeks, um, which sounds like a big task, but we've, we've sort of raised one and a half million, so I'm hopeful that we can piece that last little bit to, to do the record attempt.